Ever feel like you're running a marathon trying to stay consistent with social media as a realtor? Today, we're going to tackle the challenge of staying consistent with social media and how it can elevate your business. We're diving into practical strategies so you can start creating content without having it take over your life. Imagine a world where you're posting on social media consistently and you're walking around town and people can recognize you as the realtor from Instagram or the realtor from Facebook or LinkedIn. And that's where our discussion comes in today. Consistency on social media isn't just about posting regularly. It's about building trust and positioning yourself as the local real estate expert of choice for everyone in your city. So if you're ready to take your social media to the next level, keep watching. And don't forget to hit that like button for more marketing tips. Hey, it's John Mendez, aka Mr. Stop and Stare, just don't touch the hair. And it is my mission to help real estate professionals like yourself to keep your marketing in-house so you can boost your online presence without losing focus on your business. So why is consistency on social media important? Consistency on social media helps you to build a strong brand, engage with your audience, and attract potential clients. It's about more than just posting regularly. It's about delivering valuable content that's relevant to your target audience. So here's one of the most common mistakes I see with people in the real estate field. Everyone wants to post market stats. Everyone wants to post just listen, just sold. And they have all these ideas for what they should post, but never think twice to think, would someone that's not in real estate actually enjoy watching this content? See, a lot of times us realtors have people on Facebook that are friends with us that are also realtors. We get a ton of likes and engagement. And when we look at it, it's only all of our real estate friends and no one that's in your target audience actually enjoys watching it. So now you may be wondering, how on earth am I going to stay consistent on social media without posting the just listed photos or the market updates? So here are three practical strategies to help you with that. Number one, plan your content in advance. Use a social media content calendar to help plan your content days, weeks, or even months in advance. This helps you create a consistent posting schedule and helps make sure that your content stays fresh. Step number two, automate your post. Use social media scheduling tools to automate your post well in advance. So the tool that I use is called Metricool. This allows you to batch your content creation and save tons of time. And then number three, delegate or outsource. If you're really strapped for time, consider delegating to a social media team so that they can handle your content creation, production, and scheduling like my team. If you didn't already know, we at Stop and Stare Media offer a completely done for you content creation services. So if you're interested in that, make sure to click the link below in the description. And here's a bonus tip. Long form content will always be king. See, the reason why is because when you focus on long form content, you have the ability to repurpose that. Let me give you an example. I focus on creating this one YouTube video. This YouTube video would then turn into about five clips for me. And then I'll take this video's transcript and then turn that into my weekly newsletter. All right. So from this one video, I got in total seven digital assets. See, the problem with short form content is that the only thing you can do is repurpose it to other platforms. Meaning if I make one short form video, I take that one video, let's say I put it on IG, I put it on Facebook, I put it on LinkedIn, TikTok, YouTube shorts. On the flip side, if I focus on one long form video, I take that, I upload that to YouTube. Then from that one video, I get five clips. Now all five of those clips are going out to Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, YouTube shorts. And then from there, my transcript goes out to my newsletter or that could potentially turn into a blog post. When you focus on long form content, you have so many more ways to repurpose your content. And if you really want to get super fancy schmancy, you could take the audio, extract that, and then turn that into its own podcast that goes out to 20 plus podcast directories. So always remember that long form content will forever be king, especially if you're strapped for time because it allows you to create so much more from that one piece of content. So now that I showed you how to stay consistent on social media, you're gonna wanna make sure to click this video on screen so you can get over your fear of getting in front of a camera.